Welcome. Welcome to our 2023 Winter Leaders Summit. I'm Mara Welton, Director of Programs. I'm here with my colleagues, Brian Solom, Dion Jones, um, Dan Mueller is here. Um, you're going to be hearing from all of the staff over the um, over the course of the whole weekend. But our hopes and dreams are that uh, we are providing a bunch of tools and opportunities to engage. And I know all of the leaders out there are probably in their planning modes here, January and February. Everyone's getting ready to think about how they're going to engage. How are you going to engage with your um, communities? And we've been thinking about that too. And we've been doing a lot of um, pulling together a theme for the year. We've been trying to um, really set set the stage for us all to be very successful with all the slow food things that we want to do this year. Um, the state of the snail is Brian and I are heading it up this year because our executive director Anna Mule is off on family leave. Um, we are so happy to report that she successfully uh, gave birth to a baby boy. We're going to share his name in a photo a little bit later, but Brian and I are taking the helm and I'm going to walk through some slides today with my colleague, Brian, who are going to um, talk a lot about what where we've been in 2022, where we're headed, what the theme is for the year and um, what, what the programs and the opportunities are uh, for us all to engage with each other um, throughout the year ahead. So while you're making all of the plans, uh, with your chapters, we're hoping we're going to provide a lot of opportunities for engagement um, on national campaigns, international campaigns, and also maybe um, what we can have a little bit of time at the end to hear what you guys have queued up already. I know a lot of you have already had some of your annual meetings with your chapters, but um, yeah, this is a time for us to sort of get our slow food vitamins. A lot of you have heard me say that in the past. Uh, Terra Madre is one of those places that we get our slow food vitamins, but so is this. You know, this is when Slow Food USA can come together and just really start putting our head in the game about where we're going to go good, clean, and fair this year. So we have a lot of really fun things to share. Um, to kick us off, I'm going to just uh, update y'all. There's been some changes at the national office and we want to make sure that you know exactly who's who and um, who is who's who you need to communicate with about various things. So I created a little slide to sort of give you the lay of the land here of who is on staff. Um, Y'all know Anna Mule, she's our ED. She will be back from maternity leave um, around April. Um, Brian Solom, our director of communications. So many of you have communicated with <laughs> Brian and his team. Uh, he has a coordinator, Makaya Josephson, who's written some beautiful blog posts for us recently. Um, she's part of the comms team. And we have a new Farm Bill community organizer who Brian is helping uh, get oriented with the policy committee, uh, Brett rapkin Citronbaum, who's going to do a, a really awesome Farm Bill session later this weekend. So be sure to check that out. Um, Y'all know me, Mara, Director of Programs. Um, I am a, a department of one, but I am in the process of hiring a programs coordinator. So there'll be an intern uh, helping me out this year, which is very exciting. And Collis Stowell came on staff as the slow fish strategist, and he and I are doing a lot of slow fish activations, which you'll hear about later tonight at the um, program session. Of course, we've got Dion Jones, our net director of network engagement. All things chapter uh, is Dion. So if you have chapter questions, membership questions, uh, anything having to do with your chapter organization, Dion can hook you up. And he's um, sort of in charge of this weekend's programming. So uh, give him some props. He's done a great job. Uh, Patricia Hennessy is our development manager. She's going to be running a fundraising session this weekend, so be sure to check her out if you have fundraising questions. She is in charge of sort of our grant writing program and um, getting funds so that we can bring you amazing programming all the time. Um, and then, of course, Dan Mueller has shifted to back to her original role, which is uh, EIJ strategist and has been working on the theory of change and is also working uh, with strategizing with chapters um, um, with for all their EIJ needs at chapter level. So um, this is our staff. We are excited to be here for you. We're a super collaborative office and um, 
you know, any of us can be reached via our emails. And we have a page. I don't know how often you check the Slow Food USA website, but it's regularly updated. And there's a page there under um, the team, and you can read our bios and everything if you want to get to know us a little bit more. So just wanted to like give you the update since there's been some changes since the last time we met. Thanks, Brian. And as promised, Anna shared a picture of her baby. Jasper Phillip was born January 30th. She said he's extremely hungry and extremely sleepy. He just sleeps all the time. So he's <laughs> welcome. We decided we'd put him on the staff slide because we figure we have a new staff member too. <laughs> so send Anna and her family well wishes. Big brother Hudson is just absolutely in love with his little brother. Very exciting. <laughs> He looks like a fully baked baby to me. I feel like he looks like he's already two months old. <laughs> he's so cute and so seems to be doing super well, um, which is very exciting. Um, so yeah, this team that you all have interacted with, um, collaborated with, gotten together with, and worked hard with, um, we were um, you know, really instrumental to build some of these collaborations with you all to create a really impactful regenerative year in 2022. We could spend three hours talking about all of the successes, all of the projects, all of the moments that really mattered in 2022. But you know, just to just to rattle off a couple, you know, hosting our 2022 Leader Summit, which happened a year ago um, with 17 sessions, a great keynote address thinking about our plant to seed uh, kits that we sent to 260 schools to explore uh, six heirloom beans, uh, thinking about the framework for cultural exchange through storytelling that uh, Dan and Michelle and I created uh, to help support the, uh, the fulfillment of 95 different voices that were amplified on our blog and live experiences last year. Uh, thinking about our bean suppers that capped off uh, our, our plant to seed campaign last year. Our Slow Seed Summit with 18 sessions and 150 people in attendance. Uh, all of our policy work that we did last year around the White House Conference on Hunger, Nutrition, and Health, uh, having a listening session in collaboration with 11 different policy partners. Uh, and for many folks in this room and for many folks across the US, perhaps one of the most memorable experiences of last year was Terra Madre Salona del Gusto, uh, which we uh, helped 167 US delegates attend uh, so they could uh, meet with 3,000 global delegates across the world uh, in Italy. So, you know, just some incredible memories. Uh, I'd love it if uh, you wanted to share a couple of your favorite memories or some of those slow food sparks that came up for you in 2022 in the chat, uh, just because I know, you know, the slow food uh, vibe was strong uh, throughout the year. Um, and we saw that strength in some of our numbers, which is really exciting. You know, like we all had a feeling that 2022 is this like back on track, you know, coming together kind of year. Um, we saw that through membership, which is, you know, just one uh, data point that tells us about the strength of our network health. Um, we had, we are bouncing back. We are, we're slowly growing back in numbers from 2019. Uh, we added 209 new, new members in 2022. Uh, that put us over uh, 3,000 active members across the Slow Food USA network. Uh, and we really have our regions to thank for that. Um, in fact, three of our regions, the Northeast, Southeast, and Pacific, uh, and Rocky Mountain regions, exceeded their goals for membership in 2022, which means y'all are going to get a little kickback at the start of this year once you turn in your annual reports uh, as a thank you for raising a uh, chapter or raising memberships across your chapters, all 83 of you, plus community action teams. You know, the network is still rebounding from a difficult few years, but we are seeing the, the leaves on, this, on the trees. We are seeing the buds start to form. We are smelling uh, some, some beautiful things in the air, and we're excited to continue this momentum uh, toward network's solidarity, health, and strength. Um, so yeah, if you uh, wanna share any insights about how your chapter regenerated in 2022, we'd love to hear your successes in the chat and obviously throughout the weekend. Uh, yeah, very excited to keep the momentum strong with you all. Um, and just to kind of you know lay out um, a little bit of our ethos here at the national office and what our responsibility is to you all as chapters, um, we came up with this three-part focus for Slow Food USA. Um, at the end of 2022, because um, really what we're here to do to support this network of amazing leaders, producers, consumers, activists, is first to connect us all in spaces like this, 
um, so that we can meet each other, get to know each other, learn about what brings us to the Slow Food Network. Uh, and then second, we, we are here to align our network to make sure that we're all rallying around a common vision of good, clean and fair food for all. And then building alongside you all and collaborating with you to come up with a pathway that fully realizes that vision uh, toward joy and justice and food, particularly food justice. Uh, and then ultimately, we're here to act with you. We're here to take ideas from you, not take ideas, but collaborate with you around ideas that you generate and then really put the people power and the financial power behind those ideas uh, when it comes to programs, activities, projects, and events. So yeah, ultimately, you know, we do a lot as a small national team, but um, our primary responsibility is to really collaborate with you all and make sure that our chapter is strong because this is a grassroots movement and it takes people uh, to, to be powerful uh, as a slow food network. One of the things that we engaged around a lot this year was the theory of change. Um, we are still in the process of th these things take time because we're doing a lot of collaboration and getting feedback from our network and working on, you know, with the board and working with everybody, all of the stakeholders in our slow food multiverse. So this is an opportunity for us to just say thank you so much for all of your input, for taking all of those surveys, for being a part of focus groups, for doing one-on-ones with Dan um, on a staff here. And we just wanted to report back that we've collected a lot of information from the network during this theory of change process. And just wanted to throw out on the screen for you to sort of absorb, here's what we heard from you. Um, and you'll see that you know we connected and now we're aligning some of our values and some of our ideas about how we all interact with slow food uh, work in our sectors. And um, it was, all of the information was sort of compiled into four different zones. How do you see slow foods roles in a social change ecosystem? What are the values that you feel like slow food really upholds and works with um, in our work? What are the strategies that we employ to um, really do, do the work that we're doing? And then what are the priorities in this work? And you'll see a lot of similarities to things and messages that we've had in the past. So um, it's been a very interesting process to see that like we're we're pretty aligned in all of our um, our feeling about slow food um, slow food work in general. So it's been it's been a really interesting process. Um, there's another step that um, let's see if you could advance the slide. The what's coming next in the theory of change is that we are going to synthesize all of that feedback that you saw on the previous slide and create an actual graphic representation of the theory of change. Um, and then also have a, a collaborative narrative that goes alongside the graphic to sort of do some interpretation of what that graphic um, is representing. Um, and then ultimately all of this will be on our website. Um, there'll be a way to interact with it. We'll get some, but before that happens, we'll get one last round of feedback from the network. And then we'll be able to share it and we'll post it to the website as I referred to. We'll reference it in all of our planning and throughout the network as we go along in our in our work um, and then use it to sort of anchor the work of creating a three to five year strategic plan. And then how will we end up using the theory of changes? It'll help us like find a North Star and help us sort of focus all of our efforts because we all do, we all come at this slow food work from different directions, but we're going to find some North Star there that we can rally around together and hone in on uh, what parts of the problem of, you know, what are we working towards um, that we want to address and um, ultimately provide some guidance. The, the theory of change should provide us some guidance on how to measure success for our efforts that we're doing out here and then set forth a path for uh, development of our skills and leadership in this, in this landscape. So more to come on the theory of change. Uh, thank you for bearing with us. Things take time. I've been saying time is a very important ingredient, you know, in all things, right? In cooking and growing and also in being collaborative together. So we really appreciate all of your input. Um, this work is so important to make sure that we're hearing from our leaders. So thanks for working with us on this. Is that me, Brian? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it can be, yeah, take it off.
Okie dokie. So one of the things that we've developed this year for y'all is um, a calendar of slow food. And uh, we've sort of been talking about it as the seasons of slow food to sort of get you as you're planning and thinking about like the quarters, I guess, is one of the most common ways to think about a year, seasons or quarters. Um, and in your planning and, and in your programming, we sort of and in an interest of being super transparent of like sort of where our energy is in the office, we wanted to sort of let you all know sort of how we've been thinking about our slow food year. Um, and you can see here Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. We're in the middle of Q1, Winter Leader Summit, working on an annual theme. We'll be unveiling that next. Um, this should be helping with goal setting, um, goal setting on a staff, goal setting in your chapters for the work that you want to do this year. Um, there's a lot of slow fish activations happening in this quarter uh, with the Rising Tide Initiative, which we'll talk about in the in the program session next. And then, of course, Plant a Seed is getting launched and fulfilled this quarter. Um, that continues into the second quarter. And Brian's already mentioned the annual reports. Those will be due in April. Slow fish Rising Tide continues. And then third quarter summertime, um, we're hoping to do another snail of approval summer campaign, starting off with some plant seed events. Um, and then we'll have the second installation of our leader summit in the summertime. Uh, it's looking like late August. And uh, Negroni week is happening again. Slow Food USA will be the beneficiary again. Um, and we're gonna be rolling out the grants from the first Negroni week as well. So more to come on that. Of course, the membership drive happens in September and the Arc of Taste book, some of you have heard about, we'll talk about that uh, in the next session as well, but um, that'll be happening in August. So we have a slow food publication coming out, which is exciting. Um, and then the fourth quarter, Slow Books Network Wide Read is happening. That's very hard to say quickly. <laughs> uh, more plant to seed events uh, in the fall. And then the Slow Seed Summit is going to be in the fall this year. It's going to be a global seed summit. So it's going to take a little bit more coordination. Um, but that's going to be very exciting, probably in November. Um, Snail Blazers will be back every December, right around Terra Madre days when that happens. And then, of course, we hope to rest, reflect, plan. We'll probably have a staff retreat somewhere in the end of the year as well. So those are just some, you know, landmarks in our calendar. And the calendar is now on the, are you going to mention this again, Brian, later? We'll we'll show you and orient you where, where you can find all this detail later. Absolutely. Um, yeah, as Mara mentioned, you know, when we as the staff have been thinking about the, the coming year and all the initiatives and some of the through lines that really are connecting the work that we're doing to bring this good, clean and fair food for all movement alive in the US, um, we really centered on a 2023, 2023 theme, nourishing our connections and connecting our food ways. Um, we really wanted to, to root the work that we do in um, the care and the, the wellness that comes from food and how it nourishes us and how we nourish one another and nourish the relationships that slow food brings, uh, brings about and, and helps us str be strong with. Uh, we also thought about how our food ways are interconnected. You know, our stories and our histories can be very different, but there are those interconnection points uh, that we're hoping to elaborate on and elucidate in 2023 through things like the Arc of Taste book, um, through events, um, and through other programming. So um, we hope that this 2023 theme is inspirational to you all, um, that you're feeling the nourishing vibe from being part of the Slow Food family, uh, that you're finding stimulation and excitement in the connections that you're building um, with people this weekend and throughout the whole year. So um, yeah, go 2023. We are nourishing, we are connecting. Uh, in all good, clean and fair ways. Amazing. Some of the ways that we are going to be doing this, as Brian mentioned, is through our programming. Um, I have a whole session after this one about all the programming that's happening this year, but just to give you sort of a heads up, the three main focus points for programming this year are the Plant to Seed campaign. We're unveiling the Greens theme today. Um, I will be unveiling that deeply in the next session but we have been collaborating with an incredible uh, collage artist to bring to life all of the greens that we're going to be talking about this year. Uh, we have a lot of really fun programming uh, in the hopper for this for this year's Plant to Seed campaign, featuring some new Arc of Taste items, which is really exciting. So Plant to Seed, as always, going to be our year-long uh, effort. 
on biodiversity. And so it's nourishing. Um, the, the themes for the plant seed are always revolving around climate and nutrition. And then there's the third leg of that table is always something different year to year. And this year it's a biological and cultural um, diversity. So with greens, we're gonna be telling some stories about the communities that celebrate them, which is exciting. Uh, the second thing that we're gonna spending a lot of time on this year is slow fish, uh, rising tide initiatives, bringing slow fish programming to chapters. So, um, Kala Stahl is going to be talking a lot about that in the programming uh, session next, but um, so many great activations are happening already. We had our first one in Austin uh, last week, and we have many more in the hopper. So hopefully the rising tide boat will come dock near your shores. And if you have um, some interest in participating, please let us know. Um, the farm bill is the third big one. I, I mentioned we have a, a, a strategist on this staff now, Brett, who's going to be uh, leading some listening sessions. She's been working closely with the policy committee. And um, there's a lot, it's a big year for the farm bill, lots and lots of potential um, movement there. So if you would like to get engaged, there will be multiple opportunities. And lest you forget, we are part of an international movement. And so I would be remiss if I didn't bring a couple of updates from uh, the team in, uh, in Italy. So uh, the Slow Wine Fair is kicking off in late February, February 26th to 28th in Bologna. Uh, a, a, a really awesome experience uh, for folks in uh, the region. Now for folks here in the US, uh, the Slow Wine Tour is gonna kick off the month after in March, 2023. Uh, it's going to make some stops in San Francisco, Seattle, Dallas, Miami, and New York. So um, if you uh, love to celebrate uh, slow wine, there are many opportunities stateside and in Europe. Uh, second, Negroni Week has been announced. It'll happen on, from September 18th to 24th. Uh, once again, Slow Food International, Slow Food USA are collaborating with Imbibe Magazine and Campari to produce this event. And what's really exciting about 2023 is we're actually going to see the Slow Food Negroni Week Fund kick off in the next couple of months. Uh, basically, this is going to be a grant issuing program that takes the proceeds from Negroni Week and uh, awards global activities that support and promote quality food and beverage, advance cultural and biological diversity, and focuses on consumer education and knowledge exchange. Um, and these are not small grants, they're up to 15,000. So uh, we'll be sure to let you all know when the application launches this spring. Um, for Slow Food International, their theme continues to be regeneration. They're really leaning into that for 2023, just like they did in 2022. I highly encourage you all to check out the regeneration toolkit. It's got a lot of great ideas for um, taking some, making some moves to shift our food ways and uh, shift our food systems uh, one step at a time. So um, take a look at that. Finally, another big event from, uh, from Italy is Cheese, this biannual event that takes place um, every year, usually in the fall, um, is happening September 15th to 18th in Bra. Um, I would love to go. Hopefully some of you get a chance to go and, uh, and enjoy this experience. Um, also, I wanted to share a message from our Slow Food International President, Eddie Muchibi. Uh, he wanted to uh, share a couple of words with you all that I'm going to play right now. Uh, please let me know if you can't hear this. Greetings to you all and thank you for the invitation to this important summit. It's important to uh, uh, work locally, but also it's very, very important to work towards building a strong global movement. And without the, com the, the, the contribution and the uh, effort and also without the work of the local chapters, it becomes so difficult for a global movement like Slow Food to have an impact in other places where we want to reach, but we would not be able just to reach if we continue to work in our own territories only and also thinking only about our territories. My challenge to you today is that let's uh, continue with the good work that we do, but let's think about acting globally. Let's think about working and supporting the movement beyond our local borders. Let's make the outstanding impact starting from the action we take locally to the actions that support the global movement. 
I want to wish you all the best for this very important leaders summit and I welcome you uh, to the new vision of slow food and uh, I welcome you all to our new political vision of an open, inclusive and grassroots global movement. Thank you so much. Greetings to you all. Um, so yeah, thank you, Eddie. Uh, it was really awesome of him to uh, carve out some time, inspire us to think locally, act globally, um, and, and remind us that we are interconnected across, across the world. Uh, I just want to share a couple of top tips. If this is the only chance we get to connect over this leader summit, uh, here are a couple of four uh, key places to go to kind of continue the party beyond the leader summit. First is this new slow food uh, seasonal calendar that we created. Uh, if you go to slowfoodusa.org forward slash calendar, you'll be able to take a look at a very granular, very detailed calendar that's going to help you uh, stay connected to the movement all year long. Um, second, if you're not on already, uh, definitely head over to Facebook and uh, join our Slow Food USA chapter and community leaders group. Uh, this is a great place to ask questions, to meet other chapter uh, leaders, uh, to get updates from the Slow Food uh, National Office, um, and really just engage with folks um, in, in, this, in a digital space. Um, also, Leader Links. Uh, you probably heard about this event through Leader Links. This is a really important monthly uh, device that we, uh, you know, painstakingly create every month to make sure that you have all of the resources, links, and updates that you need to succeed, to thrive as a chapter leader, or community action team leader. Um, and then finally, slopewoodusa.org forward slash leaders. There are so many resources here um, that you can take a look at to help from uh, filing your taxes to uh, figuring out what our branding is to uh, thinking about fundraising and programming and uh, so on and so forth. So make sure you check in there from time to time. We're always adding new resources. Um, that's where to find it. So um, yeah, maybe if you have a resource that you love that helps you be a strong chapter leader, you can add that in the chat. Uh, feel free to do that. Um, and yeah, Stephanie, we really try, we really try to get all of the information that happens in the Facebook group out into other channels. Uh, but sometimes those like spontaneous and sporadic conversations happen in the space and, and we, and we work with that. So, um, yes, the may, the, the highest, uh, and most important details are always getting pushed out in myriad ways. So, um, that is our effort. Um, so yeah, uh, Thank you all for being here. If you have some questions, uh, we've got a little bit of time now um, that we can spend answering them. You can feel free to put them in the chat. You can come off of mute. Um, you can do whatever you want to, to make sure your question is asked or is answered rather um, by any of the team who are in the room. I do want to just pop in and say that uh, that calendar feels like an incredible resource for y'all because we're going to keep it up to date. It also has the Zoom links for the various um, meetings that happen throughout the months. Uh, so it can be your one-stop shop for like, I wonder what's going on at Slow Food USA. You could probably go to the calendar and figure it out. We're happy to answer questions, of course, but um, I would just encourage you, you can print it from that location as well. So if you want a hard copy, it's easy enough. But yeah, anyone have any questions, comments? Mara, did I hear you correctly? The Zoom links will be added to the calendar. They are in the calendar. Yeah, if you go to the if you go to the the location where it, that calendar exists, it's just a it's a Google Doc. <laughs> it's we're all getting very familiar with those, aren't we? Um, and at the <laughs> it's a grid of all of the dates with the sessions that are after it. And then at the bottom of the grid, there's um, the Zoom links, so you'll see it just pasted in there. That is awesome. Yeah. Trying to have this looks great. Awesome. Yeah, I know there's been confusion as to when when some of the meetings are happening. It's some, you know, we all digest information in different ways. So we try to put it out there in a couple of different ways for y'all. Amazing. So yeah, any any questions, any observations? Uh Really, yeah, this is the time to uh, flip the stage and make sure we're all, you know, having a, 
a convivial experience. <laughs> Thanks, Denisa. Cool. Well, this is so lovely to meet, be in the same room with y'all. And I want to alert you that the program session will start at six. Um, we are going to go over every single program that's happening and how you can get engaged with them. So if you're chomping at the bed to start doing the slow food doings, um, we are ready to issue that information starting at six Eastern um, by the same link. So all of the sessions this weekend can be accessed by this same Zoom link. Amazing. Well, if cool. everyone is satisfied and happy and all, all state of the snailed up, we can uh, call it a night or call it a session. And then I hope to see most of you back here um, at six to talk over the programming for the year. All of the sessions are taped. Penny, thank you for asking. And they'll we be able to there. get them uploaded to YouTube uh, within 24 to 48 hours after each session happens. So, uh, yeah. 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 And if you haven't checked the Slow Food USA YouTube channel, a lot of resources are there from all the video things that we've done in the past years. John, did you have a question? No, I just wanted to say thanks to you. You guys are, the leadership's been great. Um, it's really nice to see these resources out. We're in the process of bringing on almost 10 new folks into the our board and you know this kind of experience is really valuable for them to get a chance to plug in and hear from national and international and it's great i just want to say thank you you're welcome yeah well, awesome. really great yeah we're here to support you guys so thank you so much for uh giving us that feedback it's always nice to know when we're doing things right <laughs> amazing Okay, and congrats on your chapter getting rejuvenated, John. That's very exciting. Yeah, it is. It's really, we had like 10 people to meeting last week, a couple weeks ago, which was great. That yeah. feels good. Yeah, that's so amazing. Super duper. Okay. Well, maybe I'll go get some water and get all ready for the <laughs> program session. And um, yeah, we can call it a session, guys. Thank you so, so much. Here's to nourishing and connecting. <laughs> Here's to nourishing and connecting. Let's keep it up. Yeah. See you soon. See you soon, everyone. Bye. Bye.